right, so this afternoon, uh, I'm digging an electric service line for uh, the electrician that does my uh, electrical work on projects. He asked me if I could do this for him. He's having trouble getting somebody here, and I had a little downtime. And I wanted to try out the, uh, any chance I could get to try out the new till rotator. And I have the uh, Leica 2D system now, so. Pull that up here real quick. So basically, um, what we're doing is we gotta go three foot deep uh, with our trench. And uh, I'm a little one-handed here, so I have to switch to a different uh, camera. Basically, we need to be three foot from grade. So I set my bucket uh, on grade. Come over here, push zero. Okay. It's got the height uh, stored. And I, this has a lot of change in elevation. So I'll just be, as I go, as I move back, I'll just benchmark on each thing. And I've already set it. Uh, it's set to my one and a half foot uh, bucket. And uh, I also have a four foot bucket. So I can switch to that as well. That's our grading bucket. I'll be getting a 36 inch bucket and I'll program that in. So we have the one and a half foot cable bucket for doing this. Um, and then we can set our offset so I'm at negative three feet. We can also do a slope adjustment. Um, and then we can set a laser up to, to uh, so we can catch the laser beam and, and just have our zero point be the same place all the time, all the, you know, if we're doing a project. So. Uh, this is going to be great for digging trenches like this, doing drainage, uh, and also uh, for digging pools, patios, and other things we do so we're not over digging and uh, wasting time and wasting material. So I'll do a little bit here, and unfortunately I can't see my screen, so uh, maybe I'll move the GoPro over so you can kind of see, see what's going on there. So uh, you can see as I'm going down, the Measurements dropping to zero because I've already dug this area and I, that's showing I'm a little deep so I need to come up which on this no big deal because we actually want this to be deep but then you can see as I get a little bit closer it's, it's going to start going green so that'll get me on my grade there so pretty cool system looking forward to using this Just and then set great again. Trying to get my bucket where I want it as well. So that changes a little bit. So I'll zero it again. Go three foot down. I stored. I have to be careful here. I've already dug through some stuff that wasn't marked. Um, there's a tennis court over to my right. Some old cable. This is a remodel. I thought it was a new construction I was showing up to, but it's basically they down the old house and uh, we're building a new one on top of the old one so it's an existing location this is we're adding service here so they're keeping the old service and adding an additional 200 amps so I have to be careful not to hit the other electrical line which is running right alongside here so I may not do too much video on just because I'm uh, trying to concentrate really good have this pod uh, which is a storage pod right in my way so I have to kind of curve the line around a little bit so when I run the conduit that's going to be a little bit interesting so anyway, I'm going to go through here and check this and I'm getting a little deep for my so we're good back up again. Reset. Away we'll go.
So that's a wrap for me. Um, it took about, uh, I got her 2.30, it's uh, 7.45, so by the time I get home, it'll be a six hour project, or eight hours of drive time, I guess. Uh, had to leave that open for inspection over there, and had to leave this open. Hit some wires that weren't marked uh, that go to the uh, tennis court lights. So the electrician's gonna uh, do a nice little uh, splice on those, get those working, so. And then left a little pile to fill in down there as well. So they had a lot of grading and stuff to do here. So main thing was to get the conduit in and ready for inspection. So that's a wrap on that one. See you next time.